Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The U.S. Army unveiled its fiscal year 2025 presidential budget request totaling $185.9 billion on Monday, delineating plans for manpower, training, and equipping the force for the future. Christopher Hurd, reporting for Army News Service, provides insights into the proposed allocations. Among the highlights of the request is approximately $3.9 billion designated for military construction, earmarked for 45 projects spanning the entire Army. This includes a notable $2.4 billion allocated for barracks restoration, construction, and maintenance, marking a significant 325% increase in barracks construction compared to the previous year's request. Notably, this is the first instance in recent history where the Army has fully funded the sustainment requirement for barracks. People are undoubtedly our foremost priority, emphasized Army under Secretary Gabe Camarillo. Over the past two years, Secretary of the Army Christine Wormuth and Army leadership have underscored the critical importance of sustained investment in quality housing for our soldiers, encompassing both families and individual soldiers in barracks. The budget outlines nine barracks construction projects across various locations, including Fort Johnson, Louisiana, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, Joint Base Lewis M.C. Cord, Washington, Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall, Virginia, Smith Barracks and two at Barton Barracks, Germany, Fort Buchanan, Puerto Rico and Parks Reserve Forces Training Area California. Additionally, funds have been allocated for barracks managers to ensure prompt and adequate maintenance. Other notable budgetary highlights include enhancements in quality of life provisions, a 4.5% increase in basic pay for soldiers, accompanied by a 3.9% rise in basic allowance for housing and a 3.4% increase in basic subsistence allowance, funding for the construction of three child development centers and one youth center as well as an expansion of the holistic health and fitness program and increased investments in behavioral health and financial resources for soldiers. In terms of recruiting transformation, the Army aims to revamp its approach. A 10% increase in the marketing and advertising budget, totaling $1.1 billion. $675 million allocated for recruiting incentives, including enlistment bonuses for critical skills and expedited enlistment contracts. $7.3 million designated for recruiter selection and training improvements. Integrated deterrence strategies also feature prominently. $1.5 billion towards the Pacific Deterrence Initiative, with significant funds allocated to operation pathways and multilateral exercises in the Pacific region. $2.1 billion for the European Deterrence Initiative, with additional support for NATO and investment in missile defense capabilities. Modernization efforts receive considerable attention. Funding for over 30 new or upgraded capabilities across six modernization portfolios, including investments in guided rocket systems, hypersonic weapons, and ground vehicles. In sum, the FI 2025 budget request aligns with the Army's commitments under the National Defense Strategy, prioritizing defense, personnel welfare, and collaborative partnerships with allies and partners. That's all for now. See you later.